Hello, this is Jamie Magrinch. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made these cards. Um, I filmed it once, but I lost half of my video, so I'm trying this way. See if I can get it to download onto my computer because I'm still having difficulties. Um, I do want to put a special shout out to my grandson, um, LJ. Uh, him and I made these cards together, or this style card together, and we were going to do the video together, but we ran out of time when he was here. So he did cut out all of my pieces, so I have them all ready to go, and let's just get started. It is using the send, Sending Smiles stamp set and the coordinating dies. Each form, excuse me. I'm using these two dies, and I'm using one of the sentiments out of here. Okay. And then I'm using the sailboat punch and the ladybug builder punch. Okay. And I apologize if I'm not prepared. It's because I already filmed this video, so I had to restart. Okay. Um, you're also going to need some glue. Some glue dots work um, best for part of it. That's what I'm going to use. Um, I have a piece of the gingham ribbon that I've cut in half for my um, scarf. A scrap of white. Um, this is about a two inch piece of vellum that is cut out with the stitched squares. It's no longer current. Um, that, but I still like it. And then I have a two and a half inch square of balmy blue. I think it's two and a half. Yep, two and a half. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white and a five and a half by eight and a half thick scored at four and a quarter. And I'm also going to be using mossy fiber. Well, I misplaced it. Here it is. I'm using this embossing folder, Wintry 3D, this one here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in our, I'm going to bring in the mini so I can cut an emboss machine. put this piece of white paper in there. It is not going to cover the entire card. I'm going to leave out about an inch at the bottom so I have a place to stamp a sentiment. And this one I need to run through my large embossing folder. So I've already done that just for the sake of time. Or actually LJ did it for me which is awesome. I am going to take this piece of vellum and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this in the embossing folder. I'm going to do plate one, which is the base, and then plate four because this is a 3D embossing folder. And I'm going to run that through. And you would be doing the same thing on your large machine with the white card stock. So there's that. Now let's put this away, and this away, and this away. These and the black and the white scrap. Scratchy plate. And the detailed one is going to go on the black. The shadow is going on the white layer. Put another plate on top. 
run that through. dies away so I don't lose them. Okay, Alright, now to make the snowman, we're going to take our scrap piece of white. We're going to take the ladybug builder punch and we're going to just punch out the ladybug body part. done with that. We're going to take our snips. We're going to cut off those antennas. Just continue around the curve at the top so you have a nice continuous smooth curve there. Okay. And then we're going to oh there should be a brown scrap as well. I forgot that. This is our espresso. I have one in here if I can get my hands on it. Okay, an early espresso scrap, and we're going to bring in the sailboat builder. And we're going to punch two of the masts. Those will become the arms. I apologize. Sorry about that. Okay, so we've got the body and the arms. Now we need to make a nose. We're going to take the sailboat builder again. We're going to use the top of this mast here. I mean this sail. And we're going to go in there. Cut a little bit of that. And then we'll take our scissors and we'll round it off just a little bit more. So it's not quite so harsh. Or you can cut it out freehand, which is what we did when LJ and I made it. Okay, so there's a nose. Okay, for the buttons, you can either use gems, or these are just little die cuts cut out of paper that I had floating around. And let's get started putting this together then. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the mat here. And I'm going to take some glue and put it on my mat. I have a sponge dauber that is designated just for glue. I'm going to spread that glue out. I'm going to turn the black layer over upside down, hold it in place. And I'm going to tap the glue on there. Okay. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to layer this up. Just do a little at a time. Start at one end. Get it where you want it. And push it down well. Now I'm not going to use the tittle or the dot for the eye. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. So I'm going to just put a tiny piece of glue there. Come on, you just were coming out. Well, I can get out my take your pick tool and pick up one of those little dots and put it on there. Perfect. Now I'm going to bring in the snowman. And I'm going to do three little dots down the center of his belly here. Well, it's not quite centered, but that's all right. And again, I'm going to pick up these little dots and I'm going to stick them on there. OK. 
Okay. Awesome. I'm going to bring in some uh, markers. This is the, the Light Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to just run, do some little cheekies on there. I'm going to take a fine tip black marker and we'll do like a jiggly line for a mouth and a couple little cap C's. Now he's looking up so you're not going to need to do eyes. But I'm going to bring in, I'm going to do a glue dot for this, just makes it easier. Add a glue dot to the back. I apologize for all the noise. There's a new cat in the house and obviously she's in heat the nose on. I'm going to grab these two little guys here. And I'm going to put a glue dot on the back. And I'm going to put those on the back. Of, and I want these um, flag part to be at the top so it looks like a hand. But she was quiet all day. Well, not all day, but a good portion of it. Oh, I put the glue on the wrong side of this one. Let's see if I can get it off. Okay. Got to glue that on there. And now to do the scarf, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to wrap it around like you would a regular scarf. I'm going to tuck the two ends down into that loop. The hardest part is keeping it down on the back of them. Pull it where you want it. Come in with another glue dot. I'm going to stick it underneath his scarf here to hold it in place. You might need to put more than one. Okay, awesome. And there's our snowman. I think I want one over here too. To hold these tails where I want them. There we go. Okay. So there's that piece. Alright, now we're going to bring in our vellum piece and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our snowman. I'm going to put them over the arms so that they stay put and over the scarf. And one more just for good measure. Take those backs off. Put him down on this bottom right corner. Flip him over and we're going to put some wet glue only behind the snowman. Or you could use glue dots, that would work as well. Just a little behind him. It's going to get put onto our balmy blue piece, right centered in the middle of it. We've got to stamp our sentiment here. So let me bring in a Stamp and pierce mat. And I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I've got a sentiment for this one a card to say hello. So I'm going to stamp that down here at this bottom.
ink away so it doesn't get all over. Alright, now let's go ahead and mount this. Oh, I got ink on my hand. I need to wipe that off before it gets on my card. Put this down here. Okay, and we're going to take our sending. We're going to use mini dimensionals this time. We're going to put those mini dimensionals on the back of the sending. Take the backs off. I think I'm not supposed to be doing this video because I'm not having any luck with it. Okay, go ahead and put that down right there at the bottom. Bring in our card base. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of the card. There you go. Okay, there's the card we just made together. There's the cards I had done previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.